In this video of the Superform ICF installation series, you will learn about window and door openings. Window and door bucks provide a means to create an opening where a door or window can be installed. Bucks can be built in a lot of ways and with different materials such as steel or foam. But one of the most common is steel wood. Ensure you have the correct rough openings from the manufacturer. Make sure your door bucks account for the floor thickness. Bucks can be pre-built by the crew in the shop or on-site for efficiency. Wood bucks should be PWF or wrapped with poly if they're in contact with concrete. When building wood bucks, always run your top piece over your side pieces to handle the concrete over the buck. Nails or screws should be put through the wood buck into the concrete void before the pour to hold it securely in place afterwards. If the ICF needs to be cut horizontally, a skill saw or table saw works well for this. 3-inch height adjusters are a good option for accommodating window height variations. All bucks must have internal bracing every 2 to 2.5 feet to keep the bucks straight and square. These will be removed after the concrete has sufficiently cured. If an opening is under 4 feet from a corner, the buck needs to be tied back to the corner with additional support to keep it straight due to the pressure of concrete. Bucks can be attached to the ICF with additional support. Only one screw in the cleat and one in the buck allows for some settling of the ICF. If this is not done, the pressure from the concrete can separate the ICF and buck. The full buck is the easiest buck to build and install, but there will be some thermal bridging when finished. The half buck is more complicated, however, there's less thermal bridging while still leaving you fastening options for your trim and makes it easier to install exterior stucco. The inserted buck is easy to build and has the best performance values and also makes it easy to install exterior stucco, but leaves less options for fastening finishes too. The RO is always the inside dimension of the buck. Remember to allow for the thickness of the buck being used if needed. Window bucks are held in place with additional support on both the inside and outside. On the bottom sill, leave sufficient openings for concrete placement and consolidation. Use devil washers with 4-inch deck screws to connect the foam to the inserted and half buck. Use additional support to connect full wood bucks to the foam. Foam any large gaps. Efficiency tip. Only cut the ICF blocks either on the top or bottom horizontally for the window bucks to fit in the wall. For example, if you cut the bottom block, the top row of ICF should run over the window buck or vice versa. Ensure you have sufficient concrete and lintels as per specification over top of your openings. Thank you for watching this video in our Superform installation series. If you have more questions, visit us at superformicf.com or contact your local Superform dealer.